the government is saying that uh, they have, uh, they, 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 there are relocation sites uh, for urban for poor communities in Metro Manila, and uh, one of that relocation uh, sites uh, is in Bulacan. That area was flooded, and so uh, people are saying that uh, that's still no good. And, and the Cavite, Cavite, which is a, a major relocation area, uh, it's an area that is sinking, and uh, so that's why it explains why those areas are being uh, uh, de uh, are, are devoted to relocation because those are the residential lots are quite cheaper uh, compared to the uh, other areas and it's because it's uh, the water level it's it's below uh, uh, sea level and that has been found out by our climate change uh, groups uh, and uh, and these areas are not even areas for free where uh, people can settle for free the urban poor residents are paying for these areas although they are paying it in installments so they have to find work so they go back to metro manila again uh, to find work or to be mostly it's a uh, uh, vending, you know, uh, vendors, street vendors, uh, tricycle drivers, uh, those kind of uh, itinerant uh, work that they do, which they can even they cannot even do in relocation uh, areas. The government has actually referred to the uh, squatter houses, the uh, houses of the informal settlers, the illegal peace uh, pens that have contributed to the flooding. Uh, but actually, the uh, a biggest, uh, a bigger problem than the uh, urban poor uh, housing in, in that area is this uh, fist pens. And the fist pens are operated by uh, uh, summer generals, uh, most are connected with the, the government, and uh, that has been there for quite a long time, and the government has not done uh, anything against it. So uh, the uh, urban poor organization, urban poor residents are saying that if the government has political will, if uh, Noy Noy has political will, he should blast those uh, uh, illegal uh, uh, fish pens rather than the houses of the poor people. Uh, the Department of Health has issued uh, a, a warning alert on the rise of uh, leptospirosis, uh, dengue fever, uh, diarrhea, and typhoid uh, fever. They're on the top of the list of the diseases that have been hit Metro Manila because of the flood and the contamin contaminated uh, water. So uh, right now, for instance, there are many children in the uh, hospital, Quezon City Memorial Hospital, where the, even the corridors are already, uh, uh, already occupied by parents with their children waiting for medication. Because inside the building, uh, there are 10 children to a bed, sharing the bed, uh, waiting for uh, getting treatment from the doctor uh, during the height of flood. And even right now, uh, prices of these medicines uh, that are used to treat uh, leptospirosis, uh, diarrhea, dengue, uh, and, and uh, uh, typhoid, this kind of illnesses, they have gone up. Uh, at, uh, at uh, astronomical figures like uh, the anti uh, uh, leptospirosis uh, tablet has uh, increased its price by 750 percent during the height of the flooding. The government has actually, uh, uh, Noi Noi has uh, said that on TV, he did not name the companies and he did not order uh, a price control. People will die if they don't get uh, those kind of medicines and people will suffer more so it's useless just talking about it and if your government you should be doing uh, doing things uh, to uh, better the you know for people for people to survive government has stopped distributing relief operations in metro manila so that's why we're thinking of doing some actions probably a march uh, a rally uh, to highlight the uh, still it's a crisis situation and to get more relief from government the relief, relief goods that uh, we are distributing come from our own base and come from our own contacts, not from the government. This government is no better than the, uh, its predecessors, even in terms of uh, providing for the uh, health uh, and uh, food, the situation of its con constituents. And the base that we have, they have responded by sending in dry clothing, and they've, they've gone to the office and help out in the, cooking uh, or in, in the, in the uh, feeding centers to set up the feeding, set, uh, feeding centers 
uh, bring their own uh, utensils for that and then also help in uh, uh, getting around uh, to seek donations from uh, uh, from uh, neighbors and their friends. Uh, people seem to be ready to do this because it, it means that uh, uh, people really uh, support each other. So, uh, well, uh, uh, except the, you know, these uh, capitalists and the corporations and the uh, travels, traditional politicians who want to profit in the misery of others. Uh, 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 people are generally, they know that uh, we are doing this also for our sake. Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and that's why solidarity is uh, quite a natural thing uh, for them. That's why we're also, we, we think that it has to be nurtured and developed and, the, and uh, provide an environment where it can uh, develop further. And that means a system that is not like this, a uh, system that is uh, not uh, for profit, but a system that will take care of the uh, needs and uh, aspirations of the people.